It's like we're living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked zeitgeist of life making grown men crawl On their knees begging please save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back, no sweat Ho check and watch it shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer like the great pretender Ask the second amendment why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truth as a patriot Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle I want everybody to pay attention real fucking good Exactly what I said would happen Happened While everyone was fucking napping And arguing about minuscule bullshit And watching football The government does this. Senator Murphy's warning to America should not go unheeded. And Ron Paul completely backs up his warning and goes beyond what Murphy has told us as outlined below. <clears throat> this resolution is a total rewrite of the War Powers Clause of the Constitution. Let's be clear about that. This resolution is a total rewrite of the War Powers Clause of the Constitution. A bill purporting to give the sitting U.S. President the power to declare war on ISIS. Let's go back to the top. Senator Chris Murphy from Connecticut is calling SJ Res 29 a declaration of international martial law as seen in his speech in the second video below which I will leave in the link with Senator Lindsey Graham among the four co-sponsors of this bill Ron Paul warned in his own website that if this open-ended war authorization is passed the US Constitution will have become a all but dead letter do we really want Barack Obama or any other president for that matter to have the ability to do whatever they want with our military, including deploying them against the American people within our own country. I, run, I want people to look into the damn War Powers Act, because I know a lot of you out there don't know what the fuck it is. I thought we were fucking over and done with this shit. Now you pay attention. I got to keep from losing it here. While the Washington snowstorm dominated news coverage this week, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was operating behind the scenes to rush through the Senate what may be the most massive transfer of power from the legislative to executive branch in history. Senior Senator from Kentucky is scheming, along with Senator Lindsey Graham, to bypass normal Senate procedure to fast-track legislation to grant the president authority to wage unlimited war for as long as he wants or his successor wants. And while this is going on, I want to know where your fucking precious Rand Paul was. Look, his father's coming out talking about this shit. The senior senator from Kentucky is talking about fucking War Powers Acts. Where the fuck is Rand? Where's your American hero? None of them are going to help you. None of them. Get it to your fucking head. Not Cruz. Not Clinton. Not Sanders. Not Bush. Next fucking president's already picked. It's Hillary Clinton. Get that through your fucking head. The fucking presidents are picked years ahead of time. It will allow president and future U.S. presidents to wage war against ISIS without restrictions on time, geographic scope, or use of ground troops. It's completely open-ended authorization for the president to use military as he wishes. Even Obama expressed concern over how willing Congress is to hand him unlimited power to wage war. 
Even Obama's surprised. You fucking... You fucking sheeple, damn it. The purpose of the legislative branch is to restrict the executive branch's power. The founders understood that an all-powerful king who could wage war at will was the greatest threat to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is why they created a people's branch called Congress. To prevent the emergence of an all-powerful autocrat to drag the country to endless war, sadly Congress is surrendering its power to declare war You're telling me 51% of the house fucking voted this? Probably not. They, I mean, people were probably on vacation, took the fucking day off, at home sleeping, and just fucking passed it anyways. Just like they do everything. Oh, there's not a... Whoops, there was 10 more Democrats here than there were Republicans. Oh, the other 10 were at home sleeping. They fucking passed the shit through at 4 in the morning. What the fuck kind of shit is that? You cannot fucking do that. Holy blatant, man. The motherfucker's home sleeping out on vacation. I feel like passing a bill today. Unfucking real. Do we even have military police in this country anymore? Yeah, well, while most Americans are likely clueless, that's putting it light. About the possibility of martial law in our near future, it's easy to see the possible future need for it for that very reason. Most Americans are either dependent upon the government to survive or are struggling themselves with little time to pay attention to global economy falling apart, much less preparing themselves and their families. And when it hits the fan... The meltdowns complete millions of people in big cities across America will be totally unprepared and has been reported many times on all news pipeline and across alternative news, mass civil unrest, unrest and the total breakdown of society are going to happen. The government have to contend with it. Yeah, the government's going to be in their underground fucking mansions, you morons. Hello? Have you heard about any of the fucking underground tunnels? The dumbs. The deep underground military bases. All the fucking elite have left years ago. Most of them fucking left to their retreats years ago. Just like a fucking handful still hanging around. Folks. Hey, George Soros, he lives in the States. Hey, he said he's staying. He ain't going to hide anywhere. Good. Go get that motherfucker and hang him by his balls from his front porch. For, for everyone to see. These fuckers are going to release nuclear weapons. I'm fucking telling you. I've already done a video on it. They already set a nuke off. You know that. They already set off a nuclear weapon. It would have been in fucking downtown Charleston, South Carolina. But some real fucking Americans took action and the shit went off in the ocean. Oh, you didn't know about that? Oh, the news didn't tell you that? Now listen, I'm going to leave these two videos. Party leader introduced, I believe, earlier today. This is an authorization for military force resolution that apparently purports to give president legal authority to conduct military operations against ISIS. I'm going to leave both of these videos in the description. You better watch both of them. Going through some shit here now over at InfoWars. Cruz campaign sends letters admonishing citizens for not voting.
EU leaders claim no link between Cologne sex attacks and migrant crisis. I don't know what the fuck is going on in Cologne, Germany, but they're having, like, rapes all over the fucking place. And they're all being done by these fucking migrants. Migrants. They're all being done by these fucking immigrant terrorists. Now, one of them, uh, I think it was a Syrian couple, helped um, an American woman who's being raped. And, I mean, they said it's going on all over the place. News ain't covering it. And they said that is absolutely what is going on. But then you come to the news and they say, eh, there's no link. No, they just all happen to be from other countries and have just came to that country. It's one of those quinky dinks. Real news. Facebook's ending private gun sales on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, so are a few other companies. I think Amazon. Rand Paul declares he is the only candidate for the Liberty vote. Well, where the fuck was he with the shit that I just read a little while ago? Why didn't he say anything to Mitch McConnell? Where were you, Randy boy? Out having one of your juicy hamburgs? Doing one of your free eye surgeries? Don't vote for this schmuck either. I don't give a fuck who Sonny is. Listen, he's worked for Goldman Sachs. That's it. Yep, once you're in the Goldman Sachs, you're done. That's why I was all over Neil Kashkari's balls like a new suit. See, I was I was for the guy. I was helping him out. And he wants to go and fucking work for them. Sure enough, soon as he fucking starts. Here come the fucking fraud, the allegations, the corruption, missing money. What a fucking surprise. We've got to start all over. Do you people not get that? And listen, I don't even want to go deeper into how deeper it is. I mean, extraterrestrial. I don't, I can't even get into that now. That is way above most of your heads. But just know that there is an extraterrestrial force at work. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.